Hi, Taurus. This is Sade from Blue Alley's Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly love reading. We'll take a look at whatever challenges you and your person is facing. Um, if you're in separation, will your person come back? Or if you're single, is someone coming your way? Um, but pretty much whatever the cards come out to say. Please like, share, and subscribe to the video. Also, could you comment below and let me know if it resonates or not? Because I love to read you all's comments. Um, and if it doesn't, please check your moon horizon because it's just a general reading. So it may not resonate with everyone. If you would like to book a personal reading, please click the link in the description box below. Or you can shoot me an email. Why are these cards popping out like this? Okay. Spirit King. Mm -mm -mm. Lord. Barry, can you please give me clear, accurate messages for Taurus? What does Taurus need to know for the remaining of the week? What does Taurus need to know? Okay, so you have the Knight of Wands, the Four of Cups, and the Star card. So with the Knight of Wands, you may be dealing with a Sagittarius because it's a Sagittarius energy, or that could be um, your moon arising. Now, this is someone who um, may have a lot of options. Um, they love to have groupies, hoes, whatever you want to call it. They just basically like to be out in the streets. This is not someone you would want to build a home with. Um, this is a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am type energy, like a good time, not a long time. This um, is also a person who uses their intuition, acts on instinct, and could be very attractive. Um, or like if you're single, this card can indicate that, you know, you may soon meet a person in your life who's adventurous, spontaneous, and bold. Um just know that their energy will be affectious and it just will make you want to be with them. Um, it's like you may fall hard for them, but you still have to, you have to use your logic and understand that um, this is someone that does not want to commit. Like they may care about you, um, but they may not want to solely commit to you. This can also hint that you're ready to expand your horizon and pursue something inspiring and exciting. So if you've been having thoughts like, let's just say, uh, maybe something to do with business, um, some, maybe something creative, go for it. This card also represents travel. Um, so some of you may be ready to travel. Some of you also may be ready. I'm sorry, not ready to. Some of you may be feeling burnt out. I don't know if it's because of this connection or what. Um, but this also can represent burnt out energy. So I'm definitely going to clarify this card because maybe this is something in the past. I don't know if this your person still is in this energy, but we will definitely clarify to see what's going on. Now, with the four cups, this is Scorpio energy. Um, so this makes me feel like maybe you and your person are in separation and maybe you're in separation because like I was saying, they don't like to commit. They like to run the streets. They like to explore multiple options. And maybe that's why you two separate it. But the Four of Cups lets me know that someone is about to reach out to you or they're thinking about reaching out. This card is, it talks a lot about contemplating. Um, so it's like they're thinking about, they. okay, so they want to call you or text you, but they're thinking about what you're going to say um, and what they're going to say. They're just trying to figure out how the conversation is going to go because they're a little intimidated to call you, I guess, because of whatever happened between you two. Excuse me, guys. <clears throat> this is someone that just daydreams a lot so maybe you continuously daydream about um this connection or what it used to be or it could be them daydreaming as well um now when it comes to work this card represents boredom like you're not happy with your job so that could also go with the knight of wands when i said um you know, you are ready to expand. You're ready to pursue something more inspiring and exciting. So this Four of Cups lets me know that whatever you're doing right now, you're just bored with it. Like, it's starting to become redundant to you. Um, also, for some of you, now this may not be for everyone, but for some of you, um, 
the message that this card brings as well is stop sulking in certain things. Stop judging other people. But most importantly, stop obsessing over what you lack. And like get up, wake up, get involved and start making changes and fixing things in your life that you don't like. Um, but just know that, you know, you're way better off than what you think you are. And I feel like for some of you, um, you may have lost sight of all the wonderful gifts that you have, all the blessings that you currently have. Um, so it's best to refocus on the positive, refresh your attitude, because at times, you know, we tend to be our own worst enemies at times. Um, but just always remember, it's what you do with what you have that counts. So if some of you are just feeling like, you know, I don't know what direction my life is going in. I feel stagnant. I feel like I should be doing more. I feel like I should look like this. I feel, stop. Count your blessings. Count, look around you and see how blessed you are. Be thankful for that job, even if you do hate it or you're bored with it. Be happy and just, you know, look around and see, you know, others may have less than you. And if you don't like something, then make the necessary changes to fix it or get yourself out of that situation. Now, for this, you got the star card, which is Aquarius energy. This represents healing, the future. Um, and this also means someone sees a future with you. And it's like they're wishing on a star that you two can be together, that, you know, things could be good between you two again. Um, <clears throat> now, if you're single, this may be someone who is going to come into your life to be a helper or a supporter. Um, this may be someone who's going to grant you, you know, the opportunity to make whatever wish you have a reality. And that could be, going back to the Knight of Wands, um, whatever you're trying to pursue that's inspiring to you or exciting to you, you know, this may be the person that's going to help you do that. Now, for some of you, it could be this past person coming back to help you, or this could be a brand new person. So keep that in mind as well. <clears throat> but I'm sorry, guys, um, but this is someone who's going to have a positive influence on your world. So whoever this is, they're going to bring positivity to your life. They are going to help you change the things that you feel like you're lacking in. Now, for some of you, um, yeah, I, this is meaning someone sees a future with you. But for like I was saying, for some of you, um, for whatever reason, they can't be with you right now. It could be that they live at a distance from you. It could be finances. It could be a number of things. Take it however it resonates. But this is also my social media card. So... Someone, which I'm assuming is this Knight of Wands, may be stalking you on social media if you're in separation. Um, now for career, getting back to career, this can mean is some um, that some of you are meant to be on YouTube, meant to be an influencer, just basically someone who's meant to be in the public eye. Um, this is also someone with gifted hands, like a Reiki healer, massage therapist, or something do that has to do with your hands. So let's go ahead and clarify these cards. Spirit, can you clarify this Knight of Wands for Taurus? Why is the Knight of Wands here? Spirit, can you clarify this Four of Cups? Why is the Four of Cups here? Clarify this star. Can you give me a likely final outcome card for Taurus? Give me a final likely outcome card for Taurus for the week. Okay, so you have the Eight of Swords, the Chariot, Seven of Cups, and the Three of Cups. With this Eight of Swords, this is Gemini energy. Um, this means someone is not communicating. Someone is constantly in their head overthinking. Um, you know, you may be feeling like you're, you're in a mental prison, um, just trapped in your own negative thoughts. And I know for some of you, it's like you're longing for change, but keep in mind that change needs to start within. Um, and it starts with your mindset, because if you want to change your life, you must first change your mind. 
You may be dealing with someone who is like very negative. They like to control you. Um, because this card signifies like a, really, a relationship in crisis, a lot of drama, negativity. Um, so it just basically means like you and your person is not in a great place at the moment. And I think that's really affecting you mentally. Um, and you can't get out your head about it. Now, with the chariot card, this is cancer energy. Um, this represents selfish energy or ego-based energy. So this is someone that's trying to overcome some type of obstacle to be with you. Um, so if you're wondering, like, if you're going to be back with somebody or if um, maybe there's someone new trying to come in that's, you know, been having their eye on you, that's been crushing on you. They want to be with you, but it's an obstacle that's keeping you two apart. And it could be maybe they live at a distance from you. Um, they may first need to leave a third party. They may need to get their finances together to be with you. But whatever it is, it's an obstacle that's standing in the way. Um, this is someone who will make things happen, like even if it's not easy. So if, like, if they need something done, they'll just do it themselves. They don't really like to sit around and wait for someone to help them. Um, <clears throat> this person... This, I'm sorry, this represents travel. So this person may travel a lot or you may travel or someone may be ready to ask you, do you want to travel with them? Um, this card also tells you to control, um, take control of your own ambitions. Ambition, I'm sorry, Lord. It's early in the morning and I'm just all over the place, so I apologize. But this card tells you to take control of your own ambitions and to know that, you know, you are in control of your destiny. So once again, like if you want to change something, you got to make that first step to start changing whatever it is that you feel that you're lacking in. So it could be actually you that needs to overcome some type of obstacle. Um, but I do feel like this Knight of Wands, um, this may not be a good person for you because I, I feel like you're stressing over this this connection, um, probably because you want more and they cannot give you more and they more than likely probably have a third party because we do have the three of cups here for the final likely outcome card. And this is my third party card. So it's like, you want to be with this person, but they're not really giving you what you need. But I also feel like they're affecting your self-esteem as well. Now with the seven of cups, this represents a uh, Scorpio energy. This card comes out for someone who is confused. This is someone who may have a lot of options, but they don't know what they want. Um, and they're feeling overwhelmed with having too many options. So that could be with this King of Wands. Like, like I said, they love to have a lot of groupies and hoes. Um, and that's confusing you because it's like, okay, do you want to be with me? Do you not want to be with me? Do you love me? Do you not love me? Um, and it's, 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 like I said, it's really causing you stress, anxiety. Um, you're just overthinking a lot about the situation. Now, this card can also be a sneaky card. Um, this could be somebody trying to hide something from you and they're worried about you finding out something. This is a card for ghosting. So um, if you're wondering if your person will ghost you again, the answer is yes. So that could be another reason why you're just, you know, trapped in your, your own thoughts and overthinking things and kind of stressed out because it's like you probably really love this person. And it's like every time you're you two are doing good in a really great space, then they may just go ghost and it has you feeling like, well, what the hell happened? Like, am I not good enough? Like, why would you just leave like that? And when people leave with no explanation, no warning, that can really mess a person up mentally. And I don't think some people really truly understand that. Um, but with this card also, um, this lets me know that your person may be a distraction or a bad influence on you at a time when you really need to concentrate and focus on self-love, your self-worth, um, your career. I truly feel like they're a distraction to you and they are keeping you in your head a lot. So keep that in mind. Now with the Three of Cups, which is your final likely outcome card, this is my third party card. So this basically means like one person is faithful while the other is out cheating. So it's like you probably are faithful to this person while they're out having the time of their life. Um, but on a positive side, this card also represents celebration. It doesn't necessarily mean honoring someone, but this is a good card for success and money. And it means your money will increase. So as long as you focus um 
and you know, being a positive mindset, your money is going to increase, your career is going to take off because you do have this star card. With the star card, this is very positive um, for career as well. And that means whatever you're manifesting is about to come to surface. So this card urges you to celebrate good times and success with those you love and the ones that you like. It's a reminder that, you know, life is short and we will be a fool not to enjoy ourselves while here. So seize the moment. Um, take a moment to appreciate all the good vibes in your life, the, all the people you value, all the fun and happiness that you had so far. So it's like, don't forget that because that, oops, sorry guys, hold on. My apologies. Um, but remember when I said someone is thinking about reaching out. So that could be a sign that your person is ready to reach out to you if you're in separation. But um, getting back to what I was saying, this is definitely, um, it wants you to focus on yourself. Stop putting so much into this person that basically ain't shit. You know, they, they ain't shit. They're going to be for the streets. They're, they're going to do what they want to do. And don't sit and stress over that. Because you have someone else that's wishing on a star for you that that sees a future with you. And I feel like this is a new person. But you got to get out your head first because you're blocking your own blessings. Love is going to come, but focus on yourself first and focus on your career. Put you first. And then you're going to start to see the fruits of your labor and your life is going to start to blossom. <clears throat> and let's pull some advice cards. Spirit, what advice do you have for Taurus? Whoa, give me one second, guys. Wow, look, it says, remember to practice self-love. <clears throat> yeah, it's all about you. And it's crazy because for the past few readings, I've been getting this a lot, this whole self-love journey. Spirit, what advice do you have for Taurus? Okay, so let's see what this has to say. <clears throat> and I know some of you wanted to, this reading to be all about love, um, about your person, but this is more about loving yourself. This is more about putting you first. So I'm sorry that more of um, things internally going on with you is uh, coming out in this reading Instead of more about your person, but I feel like um, this is something that the universe truly wants you to hear. Your spirit guides is urging you to hear this message. So I do apologize if this reading is really long because the past few readings has been really long because everyone's been kind of getting the same storyline pretty much. But like I was saying, you have, it says potion, remember to practice self-love. You're familiar with the concepts of self-love and self-care, but either you're, I'm sorry, but either you're never actively practice them or there's something you've fallen behind on. Either way, you should get back on track. Keep yourself maintained in all ways, big or small. That can mean calling it quits to take a luxurious bath instead, or that can mean putting on a rose water face mask and getting out your planner so you can sort out your life before it gets too out of control. So some of you, it may be best to like journal your thoughts of what you're going through. Um, Talk to someone that you really trust that has your best interest. You may want to see a therapist, but something just so you can get back to being you. So you can find your happy place again. <clears throat> the next one, it says throne. Your potential is endless. At the risk of sounding cliche, you can do anything you put your mind to. You are a mighty queen who is complex enough to be both gentle and just as magnificent or any combination you should ever long for. The reason they tell you that you cannot have it all is because they are afraid you will become even more dangerous than you already are. So if your person or even so-called friends or like whoever you have around you are putting you down, that's because they see your potential and it scares them. That's because they know with this star card, you're going to be bigger than ever. Um, you barely touch the surface of what you're supposed to do. You're going to be someone in the public eye that's going to make a difference um, in a lot of people's lives. So keep that in mind. And the last one, it says, universe, we're all just stardust. 
when we're children, we can barely comprehend the vastness of our own lives, let alone the existence of other planets. It's not long before we learn we aren't the center of the universe. We are but specks of stardust in one of its many skies. However, we must all still do our part to take care of our own individual worlds or else it throws everything else off balance. Make sure to keep balance in your life, but don't forget the bigger picture stuff. Recycle, don't litter, litter and give thanks. So once again, it's saying, put yourself first, find balance in your life, because if not, it's going to throw everything off. Your mental, maybe your career, your finances, because if you're not right within, everything surrounding you is not going to be right. So just always keep that in mind. And I'm just going to close it off with some angel messages. What messages do you have for tours for the remaining week? <clears throat> what messages do you have for tours? So it says your situation will improve. So whatever you're going through, it's going to improve, but you got to put the necessary work in. Then it says within the next few weeks. So maybe within the next few weeks, you all are going to start that venture that's that you've been thinking about or that self-love journey or for some of you your person may be trying to come back or that's when you all are going to be in communication then it says compromise so if you and your person will try to reconcile within the next few weeks compromise is big in this connection that's the only way it's going to work is through compromise and open honest clear communication then it says get more information and i think what that means is before you decide to take this person back Get more information because um, remember I said they're trying to hide something from you. It's something that they do not want you to know about. So get more information before you jump all into this connection. So I hope that this helps, Taurus. Um, I'll talk to you next week. Please like, share, and subscribe and comment below and let me know if this resonates. Thank you.